We warmly welcome you all to this new broadcast of the institutional program of the Maria Luisa Moreno International Foundation. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Miriam. It is a joy to share with you all the big dreams coming true thanks to the social work led by Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive and her team of volunteers. Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive delivers a new educational institution, Manuela Ayala de Gaitan, in Facatativa. 320 people with special needs were beneficiated from the Employability Program Without Limits, led by the City Hall of Cali, in agreement with the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation. All of them are successfully graduated, and 70 are already working. The campaign One Day for Kids was carried out in many cities of Peru, strengthening values and family unity. With the slogan Social Inclusion in Mexico, the Foundation carried out a workshop Gather for the Capacity for an Inclusive Mexico. In Panama, many activities have been carried out to benefit children. More than 280 people graduated from the Productive Families program at La Salle University in Colombia. The starter program in Facatativa, where Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive delivers a new school, Manuela Yala de Gaitan. Carolina Marin is in the school with all the details. This is the fifth school that Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation is delivering to the kids here in the department of Mancilla in Facatativa, Colombia, near to Bogota. After four years of hard work by the foundation, the educational institution Manuel Ayala Gaitan, branch Mancilla, was inaugurated by Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive, founder and president of the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation. I am glad and thankful with all the people who helped, the donors, the mayor, the authorities, and everyone taking part. The architects also took part in the construction of this school. I thank everyone because this is a very demanding and complicated task. People have trusted us, the foundation, and it gives me great joy because I love children very much. I love education. I love people's well-being. I live and struggle for them. The construction of this school that was just a dream before and it's now a reality, it was possible thanks to a diligent joint work with enterprises such as Biodé S.A., Ecopetrol, the mayor of Facatativa, and the support of the community's committee, executives, teachers, police force, social organizations, students, and parents involved along the whole project. Having met along the way the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation allowed us to really unite our forces and achieve the dream that today becomes a reality. We see today an achievement. This wonderful modern school in this open area where children will feel as living in modern times, studying in a modern place that they had never had before. They had only dreamt of it. The mayor's office in Facatativa was another great supporter with this unconditional help to execute this project. For the office of the mayor as well for the community, this construction is a blessing. It is the answer to many different needs and difficulties that arise during government administration when it comes to education. At certain point, the local government has no money and it is necessary to ask for it to the province or to the national government. Sometimes, with a lot of struggles, some money is given for the maintenance of the institutions, but today, thanks to this strategy, to this alliance of the private sector through a foundation which generously has found a means, it has been possible to construct a new school in the city of Facatativa. It is a comfortable school with a great deal of green areas with areas that really meet the quality standards of education ruled by the national government. We are saying that this project should be replicated not only in the city, but also in the province and in the whole country so that the rural sectors, as in Mancilla, can have an educational institution with all the facilities needed to complement the children's education. The students were the main characters in the opening ceremony. They received the school supplies to start the school year and organized an event with different cultural activities and musical performances as a way to express their gratitude to those who made this great dream come true. Thanks for giving up of the beautiful school.
Happy to know that we now have decent facilities to do our pedagogical and educational work better. Excellent! This is really wonderful for us as teacher, for the students, for the parents, for the whole community. It is like a dream. I think that as a teacher, I'll do my job in a place where I have always wanted to work in. This is one of the most wonderful things that could happen to a village like Mansilla and to the children, to the parents who have our children in this institution. Our children will have a better future and with this we are contributing to the peace of Colombia. This is our fifth school constructed. The sixth school is in process of construction in Antioquia and in Mexico in San Andres de Tuxtla. We are very happy, glad to see the children's faces. They pass on that happiness to us only seeing them. Well, I feel very happy and grateful to the donors. I thank the authorities and all the people who helped in this project, everyone. I thank the parents, the children, the journalists also for being here. Thank you all so much and I invite you to become donors, donors from the bottom of your heart. Thank you. With a lot of happiness, smiles and the people very thankful for this school is all the information we have from Mancilla and the school Manuela Ayala de Gaitan. Thank you for watching. Thanks so much Carolina. Now let's go to the city of Cali where 320 people with disabilities graduated from the employability program without limits by the City Hall of Cali in agreement with the foundation. Here more than 70 people are already working and 320 people with disabilities from Cali graduated from the employability program without limits, where not only they discovered their abilities, but they also developed personal skills and abilities to enter into the modern world of work. To graduate these 320 people who were trained through the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation in partnership with the City Hall of Santiago de Cali and the Secretary of Territorial Development and Social Welfare is something incredible. Without any doubt, we must make a very important recognition to the entire team of Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation, all the people who have been linked here because it is very satisfying to see a process that started since last year, which we dream since January of this year, today is paying off. They are graduating. Well, what we did here was a joint effort between the city hall, the foundation and the volunteers taking this forward, this project. Today we see the triumph, more than 300 people in this condition who have discovered their abilities. The Without Limits project has achieved wonderful things. 70 people in the city of Cali are already employed. Things that were impossible for many, but are now a reality thanks to the work of Dr. Melissa Pirakiwi, who has led with an excellent team of volunteers this constant building of values, this willingness of people to work together. For the first time in Colombia, in Cali, it has been built the first ecosystem for employability for people with disabilities, where companies, communities, people with disabilities, public employees have been touched. They have learned that people with disabilities have many skills and can be included and also can be productive in a working environment. This program, pioneered in Colombia, began in August with the awareness of 2,000 people, including people with disabilities, caregivers, employers and the community through five health brigades, six educational sessions and 193 visits to public and private companies where they held workshops with employees about the treatment that should be given to people with disabilities, for which we had international cooperation of specialists as Maria Luisa Peña Roldan from the Ministry of Health in Spain and Ignacio Velo Foundation once of Spain, thus opening the doors to labor inclusion. Thanks to the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation, for the work they are doing on the project. And the second thing I have to do is congratulate again the secretary and especially congratulate the foundation for the work I've seen they are doing. 
for me, it has not only been an industrial experience, but a personal experience because I see that not only they do the job well done, but they really want the opportunity that you are giving to them. And that makes them cling to their job and they purse every day to grow more. And that is what we like the most. I am very grateful with the Without Limits program for all the support, all the help they have given according to all people. All the virtues that have disabled people, they are finding work for us, we are getting jobs. There is already a very large number of people linked occupationally, 77 so far, and without any doubt, we have to make a special recognition to all those people who from their efforts, from volunteering, have contributed to that dream that today is a reality, as you can see. The program worked four types of disabilities, auditory, visual, mild cognitive and physical and began with the training of 320 people in the areas of human development, self-esteem, TICs, and occupations in productive skills, among other topics, whom during classes showed the talent and skills, discovering strengths and skills. My life before, I was very shy with various insecurities, but teachers have taught me to overcome these limits. I am very happy to be part of this foundation and the teachers are very good. I learn a lot from this program. In my life, I have been wanting to move on and continue my education as a person. The Without Limits training program is divided into three models, social labor, occupational and information technologies. The basis of this training is about human being formation from values that makes our students get prepared for working life. The process has been so beautiful, very interesting. We have managed the work inclusion of 32 people with visual disabilities. This process it has been very enriching. Some of them didn't know sign language. They couldn't communicate through sign language. However, thanks to the process that was carried out with the training and also the sharing and interacting with peers, they discover many things and many skills and abilities that were hidden. I want to thank the Without Limits project because of the effort made by people with disabilities to achieve their employment inclusion, because we know that economic autonomy and independence are very heartfelt problematic for them. The performance of cultural groups as deaf people leading the way and the interpretation of the best imitator of Vicente Fernandez, Davis Urego, and the donation of kits and wheelchairs by the Foundation took part in this great celebration for social and labor inclusion, where the participants from Without Limits expressed their gratitude for believing in them. I want to thank the Foundation and also the City Hall because together they supported us so that we could learn on equal conditions. In the training, we also learned about the values. I want, I can, and I am able. First of all, I want to thank God from the bottom of my heart for his greatness, for giving me the opportunity to be part of Without Limits, the employability program for people with disabilities. This project gave us knowledge and wisdom allowing us the best way to walk uprightly and to be responsible with our work. We have developed the initiative in the workplace. We have acquired skills to develop ourselves against life and society. We also learned to have self-esteem, self-care, self-control, empathy, to be resilient, to make our own decisions, practice perseverance and discipline. Congratulations to the whole team from Without Limits program. Now in Mexico was held the workshop gathered for the capacity for an inclusive Mexico. Hazel Ramirez has prepared the following report. Friends from Foundation TV, from the iconic street of La Reforma with the Angel of Independence behind me, I share with you that in Mexico City, Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive promotes the inclusion of people with disabilities to social, cultural and productive life in the country through the workshop United for the Capacity. Let's see the note. 
With the participation of different social actors as educational institutions, companies, NGOs, and government agencies, the workshop Gather for the Capacity makes known the reality and needs of people with the special needs in order to promote respect and solidarity, and it opens opportunities for them. I am happy to participate in an activity like this. As I have always said, this foundation is extraordinary, and to join efforts with the municipality and with us, the IDF is wonderful. During the first part of the workshop, we had conferences focused on showing the general aspects of disability, the reality about disability in Mexico, and the potential that people with special needs have. Therefore, we count with the Department of Labor Inclusion from the Teleton Foundation and the great Mexican soccer player Jonathan Salinas, world champion of Pan American Games Toronto 2015. Well, thanks so much to the Foundation for the invitation. I believe that this effort is very important to make people realize the importance about disability and also invite everyone to think about what we are doing and what can I do as a person to contribute for the inclusion in Mexico. After all participants got closer to the reality of people with disabilities through different exercises in which we tried to develop daily activities in this condition, this way the barriers of the social inclusion were identified. And then, ideas were brought up in action to help purpose opportunities from the inclusion spaces of each participant. Thank you so much! Continue forward with the foundation. All you do is really quality work. And everything during the event was beautiful. Congratulations! Also, during the workshop, Speaking Hands joined us an institution that promotes the inclusion for people with hearing impairment through the sign language teaching. In this opportunity, we had courteous class and basic aspects of sign language communication in Mexico. At the end of the day, we had performances done by people with special needs to promote the capacity of this society, allowing participants as well to discover in their capacity and opportunity. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to speak. For a second year in a row, the workshop was held with great success, which creates a forum where social actors were partakers, leading the way for an inclusive Mexico. Report Hazel Ramirez. Great report, Hazel. Let's continue in Peru, where in many cities took place the event One Day for the Kids to strengthen family values and promote the integration. Let's see the note. Hello, friends from Foundation TV. We are here in Lima, Peru, running the event One Day for Kids, and we are surrounded by a lot of happiness and joy. What are you doing? We are blowing up balloons so the kids can enjoy all the stuff from the event, such as inflatable toys, so they can jump, dance, sing, and so on. Here in Lima, we call it Crazy Hour. There are children from San Juan de Lurigancho, Ati, Lima Norte, Chuguita, and even from the hills. Today, the event One Day for the Kids is being carried out in Trujillo and different places around the country as well. We are here in the Merchandisers and Industrialists Association of Trujillo. We are going to have a great day full of happiness and all of it thanks to Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive. Over 180 people among with children and parents that live in vulnerable areas in Trujillo have had a wonderful day full of happiness and enjoy different recreational activities based on values. We are here in the Plaza de Armas in the city of Chimbote, Peru, where the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation have celebrated the educational campaign one Day for Kids. Today we have celebrated the educational campaign One Day for Kids. We have extended a helping hand to this vulnerable population so that more than 400 people have been beneficiated and more than 1,400 supplies have been given. There has been a show with lots of fun. We had dances and games that have shown the values taught by Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive. We are in the rural community of Sayapata in the Colquepata district in Paucartambo province of the Cusco region with the campaign One Day for Kids. Together, 
The foundation in Panama carried out different activities, teaching and strengthening values in children from this country. Fernando Beltran has the following report. Hello friends from Foundation TV. We are here in El Arino where Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive has brought happiness not only to children who have received recreation, but also to youngsters who have been in a worship specially designed for them and their mothers who have also been in handcraft worship and where they have learned to make a lot of things that will be useful for them and their children in the future. All of this thanks to Dr. Mira Luisa. As parents, we are grateful for the support given for the event done for the children. May God take care of you and protect you. We think about all of you every day because these are the things that are really valuable. In agreement with La Salle University, more than 280 people from different districts of Bogota graduated from the entrepreneurship program of this tragic line product of families. We are at the auditorium of La Salle University, where we are having the closure of this big event, Awakening Entrepreneurial. 256 people from 12 localities of Bogotá and three municipalities of Cundinamarca graduated from the Awakening Entrepreneurial Project of the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation in agreement with the University of La Salle, which seeks to promote development in families. This is about training families in business, also to teach values, how to hold a business and how to maintain it for the life project that will be better for themselves and their children. The workshop lasts seven months where the participants had classes in subjects such as life project, human development, and business management. Being the entrepreneurship the main aspect promoted by Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive to strengthen the human development and the people's autonomy, improving their quality life. He taught me to be organized, I work in painting, he has taught me to manage staff, how to focus and how to approach customers. The Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation is being a great ally, a great strategic partner to fulfill our mission. We have been working with them around about eight years. The sum of our efforts have given us a great success. The today is reflected given these certificates as a proof of the commitment of the foundation and the university with the Society for the Common Good. Now I'm filled with an extensive knowledge to put in practice in my company. They told me how to manage my company and now I'm giving work to others. This program is also developed in different departments of Colombia like Antioquia, Risaralda, Chocó, Santander, Atlántico and Valle del Cauca. Also in Peru, Ecuador, among these countries where the foundation is present. Graduated in 2015 over 1,600 people. That's all from the auditorium of La Salle University. We're back to Johnny in the studio. Now we invite you all to watch the activities held by the foundation in different countries. In the city of Quito, Ecuador, 50 people graduate from the program Entrepreneurial Awakening. The team of volunteers, the graduates, families and the representatives of the Regional Administration of Calderon, an organization that took active part in execution of the project, attend the closing ceremony. Besides, in Lago Agrio, as part of the program Productive Awakening, a group of people graduate from a dressmaking course after six-month training. In this manner, families were provided with knowledge and abilities to increase their income. Volunteers from the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation in England visited a vulnerable area in New Delhi, India, helping identify the most significant needs of the region, especially in children. Different issues were found, such as limited access to education due to high cost and the lacking of healthy eating habits. Therefore, all the aid collected will be used to grant scholarships and other benefits that may contribute to better education. In Panama City, a campaign called Let's Go to the Movies was held with the support of Cinepolis Multiplisa. Children and elderly people had fun watching a movie and participating in entertaining activities. In the human settlement Virgen del Carmen in the district of Santa Maria in the province of Uaura, the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation delivered a reconstructed house to the Cruz Ramirez family as part of the Improving Housing Program. The aim of this project is to improve the quality of life of those who need it the most. In this project, a construction of 15 meters in poor conditions was renewed and adapted 
The ladder wood of the bedrooms, living and dining room was rearranged and bedrooms were installed and set up. Also, in the cities of Lima and Trujillo, the Entrepreneurial Awakening program promoted by Dr. Mel Luisa Piraquive was carried out and more than 140 people were trained on human and business development. In Switzerland, one day for the elderly was celebrated and approximately 15 elderly people enjoyed a pleasant afternoon full of smiles, entertaining games, singing contests, serenades and many surprises. We have come to the end of our broadcast. We remind you all that you can follow us on our social network shown on the screen. Do not forget to join us in the next emission. Remember that you all have an appointment with us on Foundation TV. Because helping, helping is our job. job.